Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Thunder Road Vendetta. This one's designed by Dave Chalker and Brett Myers and it's published by Restoration Games. This is a reimagining of a classic from 1986 and it plays in roughly 45 to 75 minutes. And so if you're not familiar with the classic, in this game we are playing as roadsters and our goal is to try to get either to the finish line or to try to eliminate all of our opponents. Yeah, so essentially it's a deadly race to the end. There are a few updates to this version of the game that make it a lot more strategic. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a teach and then go into a full two-player playthrough of the game. If you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. Before we begin, we do want to mention though that this is technically considered a prototype copy of the game, which means things are subject to change in the final copy, including rules changes or graphic design changes. Now if you are interested in this game or if you want to check out the campaign there is a link down below in the description and also if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future please consider subscribing. And with that we are ready to get started. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table we are all set up here for our two-player game of Thunder Road Vendetta. Almost set up. We want our dice tray. <laughs> Just to kind of give you the lay of the land, in the middle here we have the road, which we are going to be racing across to try to get to the finish line. Mm -hmm. This is not the full version of it. We're going to be adding more tiles um, as we progress through the game. We also have different types of dice, and each player has their own sort of board set up here, which is basically going to be our control module, our control unit. Yep. Because in this game, each player is going to be controlling their team of vehicles that consists of three different sizes of cars. We have the small, medium, and large, as well as one helicopter. And so a game of Thunder Road Vendetta is played over several rounds. And each round, we are going to be rolling our movement dice and allocating them to our different cars in order to try to go as far as possible on this road to hit the finish line. Mm -hmm. And so once somebody either crosses the finish line or is the only person left with operable cars, then the game will end and that person is declared the winner. And so the way the game works is at the start of each round, all players will roll their four dice. And the person who's going first is also going to roll the road die. Mm -hmm. And then, starting with the first player, each player is going to be taking turns assigning one die to each of their vehicles. The number of pips on the die is going to dictate how many spaces that vehicle can move forward on the road. And so for the very first turn of the game, say I were to assign this 5 to my small vehicle, the first movement must be to move onto the first space of the track. So maybe I can move on to that space. When moving your vehicle, you must always move forward, which is towards the right, but you can kind of crisscross paths through diagonal uh, adjacent spots. And so in this example, I could go one, two, three, four, five, avoiding these hazards. And the reason why I, I might want to do that is because as soon as you move into a space that has one of these red, red hazard tiles, you have to flip it over and you have to resolve it immediately. It doesn't stop your movement necessarily unless the actual effect of it stops your movement, but it can be potentially bad. And these hazards are going to range in what they do. Some of them are going to have different types of terrain that make travel a little bit more difficult. Some of them are going to be a little bit more extreme. And so we will probably talk about the hazards as we play the game. Mm -hmm. Speaking of terrain, if you'll notice, the road has uh, various types of terrain, including mud and dirt and just regular road. Both the road spaces as well as the off-road spaces, which are here in beige, only cost one movement point to enter, while the muddy spaces, which are brown here, cost two movement points. Although if it is your last movement point, you can still enter these muddy spots. The outer limits of the board, including um, this area here as well as off the board, and these really, really dark spaces here are considered impassable terrain. And so if at any time you ever have to move into one of these spaces, and usually that's because you got pushed into the spot, yep. then your car gets removed from the game, eliminated, out of here, you're <laughs> one step closer to losing. Think of it as a big pit that yeah. you just fall into. And by the way, the graphic design of these areas are going to be fully updated in the final version of the game. Mm -hmm. Now the special thing about the road spaces is if during your entire movement for that one car, you only traversed across road spaces and you never went on any other types of terrain, after you finish your movement, you can choose to additionally add whatever the value is on the road die to your movement. You have to add the full amount mm -hmm. though, but this is a nice way for you to get even further across um, in the race. So in this case, you are completely eligible, so you could move another one, two, if you'd like to. Yes. And once I finish my movement, then play would pass to Naveen, who would now assign one of his dice as well. Mm -hmm. When it gets back to me, I would then assign a new die to a different car. And so each round, all three of your cars should be moving. Start with the second round. After finishing movement, players can also shoot. And so the way that that works is, if you'll notice, at the front of every uh, spot here, there's going to be a front arc, which consists of the three spaces that mm -hmm. are in front of a vehicle. Say in the second round, Naveen was able to make his way onto one of those three front arcs. If I were to end my movement 
um, technically behind him, then my car automatically shoots his car because his car is in that uh, front arc right there. Or at least shoots at me. So then I would roll the shooting die, which is this red die. And this die consists of different faces that have uh, the different sizes of the cars written on it. Mm -hmm. So then I would roll it. And if the size of Naveen's car is present on the die, then that would be a successful hit. Mm -hmm. However, this has an L, which means large, and uh, Naveen's car is a medium car. So that is a complete miss. Yes. But if I were to hit him, then he would have to draw the topmost damage token here, uh, resolve it, and then place it underneath the one of the two spots underneath his, his uh, car controller. <laughs> and the significance of this is as soon as a car has two of them, then it becomes inoperable. You have to flip it backwards to show that it's inoperable. You basically can't assign dice to it until you remove at least one of those damage tokens to make it operable again. Mm -hmm. Now, if the situation looked like this, where Naveen had already assigned two of his dice and the only car left to assign a die to is inoperable, he can perform what's called a boost, which essentially allows him to assign that final die to one of the other two cars that are still operable, allowing them to move just one space. Now, we mentioned these hazard tiles when moving and how they don't stop movement. However, if you are ever to enter a space that has another vehicle in it, so say in this example, if Naveen were to boost by assigning his, his die to the large car, moving it one space forward, you would create what's called a slam mm -hmm. because no two cars can technically uh, occupy the same space safely. <laughs> and so anytime this were to happen, one car would go on top, which would be Naveen's because his car was the one that moved into the space. And then my car would be at the bottom. Since Naveen caused the slam, he would have to roll these two dice, one being the directional die and the other one being the slam die. So we roll it up. And essentially, the slam die dictates which car is going to be affected by the directional die. In this case, it's going to be the car that's at the bottom, which is unfortunately mine. <laughs> yep. And then the, the directional die shows which space that car must now move into. Because he slammed into my car and he pushed me into another space. This is kind of cool. So it's going to actually, based off that die, it's going to force this car to move back onto this hazard tile, revealing the hazard tile, and then Monique must take the effect of it. If this were to ever happen, and Naveen did not like the outcome, Naveen would actually have the opportunity to re-roll both dice because his car is larger than mine. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter the fact that he was the one who moved his vehicle right. in it. It's all about the size of the vehicle. And so that's obviously a benefit of having a larger car. Mm -hmm. I do want to mention though that the large cars are a lot more prevalent on the shooting die, yes. which makes them easier to hit and vice versa for the smaller cars. The smaller cars are, um, are harder to hit. And as you may imagine, these slams can cause a chain reaction of slams. If a car were to move into this spot, then that would cause another slam and you would basically just resolve it until there are no stacked cars. Now, the last thing we want to mention before we get started with the playthrough is these guys. The chopper. The chopper. So you may notice that each player has a fourth die, even mm -hmm. though they only have three vehicles. And the reason for that is each round, you assign your fourth die to your, your command module over here. And your command board shows four different types of uh, ability Abilities that you can activate during your turn. Each ability also has a certain pip value requirement that you mm -hmm. need to have in order to activate that ability. And so for example, if you assign a die value between three to five over here, then you can do what's called a drift, which it allows you to ignore the first slam that your car would have to participate in this movement. Right, so this could be totally avoided had Naveen placed um, his die. If you assign a six to the repair ability, you can uh, remove one of your damage tokens before moving your car. And so that is a way for you to repair your damage and to make your cars operable again. Mm -hmm. A die value between one and three allows you to do the nitro ability, which just increases the value of that car's movement for whatever value the die is. And the final ability lets you assign any value of die in order to move your chopper for an airstrike. And so this ability lets you move and shoot with your chopper before you take a turn with your car. Now, the thing about choppers is they are not actually a part of your um, your racing team. Mm -hmm. And so they don't take any damage. They don't win the race. They just kind of float around and help you shoot people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when you use this airstrike ability, you can literally plop your chopper anywhere on, on the board that has an empty space. So if I wanted to, I can place my chopper right there. And then my chopper will shoot. And choppers will shoot any one enemy car that's in that three space front Arc. So in this example, I would be able to shoot um, Naveen's car. And in addition to the airstrike, the other significance of these choppers is if any car were to end their movement on a chopper space, just like that, then that car gets completely eliminated by this <laughs> chopper because these choppers are secretly the most powerful, <laughs> the most powerful vehicles in the bunch, right? 
Yeah, that means you can kind of try to strategically slam into somebody and force that car to get pushed into a chopper, whether it's theirs or somebody else's. Yes. And that car then gets eliminated out of the game. That's the important part. Your chopper can eliminate your own car. Mm -hmm. So be very cautious about where you place your choppers. And that's essentially it for actions. As soon as a car moves off the final tile, then we will elongate the road by removing the backmost road, as well as any vehicles that still remain on it. Mm -hmm. Those cars just get eliminated completely. Like they fall off the edge of the earth. Right. Choppers do not, though. Choppers will always just come back to the player to be redeployed mm -hmm. whenever they want to do an airstrike. The front two tiles get pushed back, and then we add a new tile to the front, um, elongating that road. Yeah, it's like a big conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. The final tile in the race is dictated by player count. And so in a two-player game, we're essentially just going to play out all five of the tiles. And once somebody steps off that final tile, assuming that uh, there are still other people in play, uh -huh. then they are the winner. Otherwise, if only one person is ever present uh, with operable cars during the game, then they are considered the winner. And um, that is essentially how the game is played. We are going to just get a little bit cleaned up and then get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We've shuffled some of the hazard tiles, and now we just need to figure out who's going to be going first. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to roll all of our dice. So you want yes. to go first? Roll sure. your dice? Uh, I believe it's whoever has the lowest sum lowest is going sum. to be the first player. Mm -hmm. So let's see. What is that? That's 15? Like 15, yeah. All right. Let's see what you got in the game. Right. I don't know what I want. <laughs> 16 I want. Oh, okay, oh, that's definitely it. Definitely even... higher. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the road die now. Yep. And I'm just going to leave it in here, okay. just so we can always, uh, you know, we see it a little bit better. Yep. So let's get to two. So we have all of our dice, and uh, I believe I'm going to go first. Yep. And remember, it is one die per turn, and uh, you have to move each car once okay. during the round. And no shooting yet. No shooting yet, <laughs> not until the next round. All right. And since I'm going first, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to use my, uh, my largest die mm -hmm. first. Yep. Uh, it's a pip value of six, and I'm going to use it to move my largest car. The Just tank. try to get the biggest, the tank, just like <laughs> as far forward as possible. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Because yeah. I only traverse through road, I can add the uh, two. two spaces from the road die. And I'm just going to sit right there. Because uh, I feel like the likelihood is lower that that car will get smashed if mm. I just push it further and further ahead. It's true. Know. All right, I'll use my five. Okay. And I'm going to move my... I'll also move my large car. Okay. So I'm just uh, going to follow exactly what you did. So this has got to go, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. There. Right there, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two Okay. for that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And no command for you? No, no, I'm not going to command this one. All right, back to me. So we are basically doing our initial placements with mm -hmm. this first round yeah, here. There's no we shooting. can't shoot. Yeah. I think the next car I'm going to move is my smallest one. Okay. So I'm gonna, I only have a four and a one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign my four here and then I am going to do a command now. I'm going to assign my one to my nitro ability here, okay. which lets me increase the value of this die by whatever that is. So that's gonna be plus one. So, so five. my small car mm -hmm. is gonna move uh, five spaces and I think they're gonna go from over here. So nice. one, two, three, four, five, plus two because of the, the die. So they're only gonna be able to move into that spot because okay, it's, it's mud. Yep. And that costs an extra space. Interesting. So we have one that's kind of avoiding a little bit. Yes. So, uh, yeah, no funny business. <laughs> I feel like it's also kind of risky. I have some funny business. <laughs> what? I have some funny business. So I'll do. use my five on my medium car. And then I will go one, two, three, four, five, plus two. Oh, my. The road dies. Gosh. We have ourselves a smash. So the goal for me Awful. is to get you off this side of the board. This is going to be a really quick game <laughs> if you are able to do that. All right. So, all right. So since you did the, the smashing, yes. you get to roll both these dice. Okay. So I'm and... looking for top car to have to go, or sorry, bottom car to have to go in one of those two vectors. That'd be the best. Right. Or into this hazard, maybe. <laughs> what do we got? It bottom is bottom car. car. Oh, sorry. It's bottom car. But, oh, you, you go into this spot right here. It's bottom car and then bottom right. Yes. Boom, right there. So are this is your... This is your medium car? That's my medium and car. And I use my smallest? Oh, I can't even re-roll that. Okay, so I have to do this. So, so I, I have the right to re-roll it if I'm right. not happy with this. Um, let's you... see what this hazard has to, has okay, to do. Okay. Let's, let's reveal so something. So you're not re-rolling. No. So I get smashed into this space over here. All right, let's see what we got. And we have, oh, it's an oil <sighs> slick. Okay. Oh, gosh, that means it moves me again. So because that space is covered in oil, I have to roll the direction die, and okay. I essentially, my car just moves one space in that direction. All right, come so... back on top of my car. <laughs> come on. 
I'm going forward. Oh. Hey, Ooh. that ended up being. Oh, no, no, you're going I'm back. Going back. You're going <laughs> you always assess relative to the center, and then it's yeah. one of the six vectors around it. Yeah, Yours... I, I always get this wrong. So this is really tiny, okay. and so it's, I apologize if it's difficult to see, but it's just one space backwards. backwards. So could have been worse. I could have been completely eliminated out. there. Yeah. I will take it. And that car is not moving again, so you know that that's safe it's, it's for you. It's interesting because I could use a small one to try to smash into it again. Don't and, do and it. And cause a train reaction here. <laughs> You have your medium, though. I, I want to try to avoid your medium. Yes, that is what I'm going to be moving now, because this is my last die. So uh -huh. let's go ahead and move the medium four spaces. You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go this way. So one, two, three, four, okay. and then the, the road die. So one... Oh, I can, move, I can just sit yeah, back one, here. Two, right there, yeah. Yeah. Because you can't fine. turn around. You're always going to go in one of the vectors forward. So. Right. Mm. Too bad I can't shoot yet. Yeah. So that's it. I have moved all my, my vehicles. I'm done for the round. You have one final car. Yeah. And by the way, going back to the oil slick, uh, specifically for this tile, once it's been completely resolved, then it just leaves and that space becomes a regular road space. Mm -hmm. So we're going to treat it like, like it's just road. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this out of the way. You know what? I am going to use my four dice okay. to do a drift over here. So uh, I can only use this spot if I have a three, four or five pip. I'm right. using it for a four. And that essentially means that I can avoid my first collision or my first smash. Cool. So with this car, I'm like going to go one, two, three, four, five, avoiding it six. And then because I stuck on the road, I mm -hmm. get to use the dice one, two, right there. Oh, okay. So I just kind of jumped out. That's interesting that you want to stay on this spot versus this one because you won't have the opportunity to use a road die. If yes. You start on a non road space. I. I'm looking at uh, okay with it? <laughs> I'm looking at this big honking one over here, and yeah? I like it. Yeah. There's some fear in the air. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm stay away. Um, that's everything. That yep. is the end of the first round. round. So then uh, we pass this. So you are now first player, which is actually kind of bad. It's nice to kind of get ahead, but you're definitely uh, out in the open to get shot yeah, and yeah. like and smacked or crashed into. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, there's not much cleanup. Nope. We're just gonna go ahead and re-roll our dice. So I'll go first. Sure. Since you have the road die. Why not? And uh, oh, okay. okay, so we have a good a good combination. We got yeah. a one, three, five, and six. Yeah. Turn order is now no longer determined by highest roll yes. or anything like that. It just rotates. So I'm just gonna roll it all, even with the road die. All right, so we have a two road die, yep. and uh, I have uh, mid range. Hey, you have some so. similar similar values here. Mid range. And uh, the road die is one through three. One, two, mm -hmm. three. <laughs> so you are up first. So you have a six. I do. What are you gonna do with that big brute? Depends on what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll use my five on my big one. And okay. I'm going to go one, two, nice. three, four, five. Some avoidance. Using it all along the road. So yep. I'm going to take the road dice, one, two. And I'll okay. hang out there and hopefully hopefully I'll be safe. <laughs> so you have you have entered the second tile, which is the, the, the mud, mud hole. hole. <laughs> yes. So as evidenced by all this yeah. mud right here, we're trying to basically avoid as much of the mud as possible because it slows you down every time you enter one of those yeah. tiles. Since you moved your tank that way, I think I'm going to take mine this way. You know, kind of like an action movie where they like oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of okay. go around. around the mud hole. Okay. But before I do, I'm going to do my command now. I'm going to assign my one to my airstrike. This is the first time that we are going to be placing our choppers out mm. onto the board. I thought it would be kind of an okay time to do so. Yeah, might as well. And uh, the rule is you just have to place the chopper in a clear space. Anywhere in, in any of these three boards. I'm just going to go right there. <laughs> yeah, <that makes> sense. <laughs> because you place with the chopper and then you shoot if they're able to. And uh, Naveen's tank over here is right in front it's of... the one that can get shot the best. Right. All and right. It's, it's a kind of a decent time, too, because if any of these cars um, end up movement on that spot, then yeah. they're eliminated. Yeah, it's not bad. So I'm going to roll the Come shooting on, die. Come on, roll. <laughs> it's a big car, too, so it's easier to, I know. to shoot. Let's go. You got me. All right. Okay. So this has a yeah. tiny little L at the bottom right-hand corner, which means the large, large vehicle. And so since that is what uh, the car that that All is... Right. Naveen takes a damage. Come on, be a nothing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a booster. No. Blast off. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. So this is a tile. It is still damaged, but uh, basically I have to resolve this by rolling the purple and the yellow dice. So it's a direction die? Yes. He's basically going to get blasted off, just yeah. like straight in a direction. Yeah, this is scary because uh, a lot of this direction is bad. <laughs> yes, this could be the end of well, <laughs> Naveen's thing. Two, two of the four, or two of the six, I'm sorry, is bad for me. Yeah. So this is going to be the direction die that shows where, which direction the car will go in and how many spaces. All so, right. Give me a freebie move. I, I want a freebie move this way. <laughs> Just right through the mud. All right. Blast me off in the right direction here. Come on. <laughs> good luck. Get some space. 
Two spaces. Okay. Oh, I'm going backwards. You're going. You're going Shoot. this way. Yeah. So it it looks like it is this way. Yep. Two spaces. So you would actually. It's kind of like you got propelled upwards. Yes. And you would just land on that oh, spot, like that. and that's significant because if there was like a hazard tile in between, you wouldn't resolve it. That's right. During yeah. this, you just uh, avoid it. This one. It's like you got shot into the air. Okay. So it could have been worse. It could have been much worse it could if been... I got blasted off that way. So yeah. I'm happy that didn't happen. So now if the Naveen takes another damage for that specific vehicle, then that that uh, tank would be considered inoperable. Yes, and then I have to is... use a six to repair it. Right. Um... We're going to try to make that <laughs> yeah, happen. Yeah, she's getting gun for me. <laughs> and you know what? For the record, um, it would be ideal for me to change my mind. But because I kind of cheated a little bit, I'm supposed to assign both dice at the same time. So I shouldn't be able to make my decision based off yes, of what happened with, right. with the, the chopper. Uh, yes, so that's right. I'm going to go with my original plan like i was discussing earlier the and i'm gonna assign the six to the tank so you were thinking about coming in and shooting me i was saying. Okay, <laughs> yeah. true yes. but that would be cheating yeah you waited so, for that outcome to then make this decision That's right, right yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna go with that original plan and uh, it would have been the six on the large car i'm going this way so <laughs> it's one two three four five six all right good luck come on if the hazard come off the edge of the board kind to me Oh, All just right. Road space. So that's okay. a regular road space. You can leave it there. You can right. remove it. Are you going to continue so moving? It off. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, my. I can use a road die. Yeah. All, all roads. So two more spaces. Staying on the edge, huh? Staying on the edge. I'm living life on the edge right now. Maybe it's <laughs> helicopter time. Huh? Maybe it's helicopter time. Um, I think that would be awful for me, but <laughs> fair. So. Awful but fair. No comment. No comment. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to use my four die mm -hmm. as well as my uh, my one to represent Ooh. airstrike. Okay. So I have an airstrike, and then I'm going to move this car here. Okay. And so um, let's put out the chopper. Yeah, that goes first. It's move and shoot here. with the chopper first, and then you move your yep. your car. All right. Ah, uh, it's payback. Payback. Payback is is We're a going stinker. For large. Okay. Come on, Please. large. It's Large. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I get hit. So That's I take a, a damage. It's only fair. To get. Let's hope karma isn't awful. All right. Shrapnel. Shrapnel. Okay. Mm. So this is gonna go under here, and okay. uh, looks like we have to roll the direction die, and then my car gets pushed all the mm. way in that direction until I either hit a car or the edge of the tile, and so if I hit the edge of the tile, nothing happens. But if I hit a car, then that car takes a damage automatically, even wow. if it's my own vehicle, because mm. it's kind of like they got hit by shrapnel. Big time, yeah. So, <laughs> so I need you not to get a perfect straight because that's uh, that's pretty good. Well, if I got a perfect straight, I would just go there. Oh, to the edge of the board. It's just the, the edge of the tile. Ah, it's ah, specifically ah. the tile. So let's hope for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, what? Oh, it's this way, but I'm technically at the edge of the tile. I gotcha. don't think it eliminates my... It doesn't say to eliminate the car. It doesn't say go off the edge. So um, nice. it wouldn't make sense to anyway shrapnel. It's just shrapnel, right? Yeah. The purpose well, is to like, damage uh, another car. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right, so I got off easy street. All right, fair <laughs> enough. All right, I'm going to move my medium car next, and I'm going to assign my value uh, three die okay. to that car. And they're going to go uh, one, two, three, using the road die, which mm -hmm. is two. Uh, one, two. Okay, oh, you trying it, to shoot me? Yes, it's mud, but because that was my last movement point, that is a legal movement yes. into that spot, because yep. otherwise it would cost two movement. Yes, you can spend and, your last um, movement point to get into mud. Right, and yes, I am definitely trying to shoot you. 100%. All right. <laughs> because it's still the large vehicle and it I can is. make it inoper inoperable. You yes, can, inoperable. Yeah. That's the yeah. word. So let's try. I'm going to go and roll the shooting Come die. Come on. Don't I'm roll the large. For an L. Let's go. <sighs> We've got an L. Right. Naveen gets shot. So um, go ahead and flip over. All right. What do we got here? Oh, another blast off. <laughs> All right. All right. So You're just getting shot every, everywhere. Right? So I'm going to blast off and then be wherever I lie, that's where I'll be inoperable. Yes. Yep. All right. Do so I seal my own fate? It's the direction die and the stunt die. Come on, just straight, straight four. <laughs> Good luck. It is not. Oh, oh no. Am I am I dead meat? You're out. Oh no. So I got okay. <laughs> One, two, ah, three, yeah, four. Yeah, that's it. That is an impassable oh. terrain. The edge of the tile counts as just being off limits. Nicely and done. Unfortunately, Naveen was careened basically off the edge <laughs> yeah, of the mountain. <laughs> that's not good. Like Wile E. Coyote. Like, the tank. You got, you got me. All right, I'm upside <laughs> down. We'll just represent that like that. And so now since this car is completely out of the game, there's no repairing it. There's no shop that can fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, with that extra die, I'm going to be boosting always. Together. So that's just going to be one <laughs> extra movement for one of the other two cars. A tank. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of these dice. I don't want to see them again. Uh, two, <laughs> For a long fun. time. Uh, they're definitely going to come back soon. So I have to assign this to my medium, which mm -hmm. I believe is this one. I don't like where I'm at. 
We need to at least make it to this third tile. I, I know. Well, <laughs> we I'm, have eliminated I'm one third one done. So let's see. Okay, I gotta get off this. Let's go one, two, three. Let's just hang out. Okay. Let's just, just, just do that. Just like that. That's huh? it. Yeah. Real nice. Really nice easy. and simple. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have my, my last die is a five, and it's gonna be for that that small card. Just gonna avoid everyone. <laughs> should I? Yeah, I should. Let's you see. Should. One, two, three, four, five. Plus mm, two. Yeah. Yeah, and this one's already cleared the way on this road for you. Gosh, that is not bad. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, Let's get ahead, good. small car. Yeah, small so, car. Go. One, two, three, four, five. The road die gives me seven, yeah. two. Nice. I like it. We're making our way. There are five tiles. Like we, we need to we need All to push forward. Three of your cars are out in front and I'm down a car. Okay. We got this. I got this. Yeah. I got this. There's a way. At least you don't have to worry about this damage anymore. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I have to worry it's, about the other cars getting just the other two cars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that is the end of the round. So now uh, first player get, gets passed to me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, would you like to roll your dice first? Uh, sure. Okay, I need it. Well, I wanted a six for repairing that. But I think I still want a six just to move. Yeah. Okay, no I six, two but fives. fives. Okay. That's not bad. All right. And I know this one is probably going to end up uh, being the one for boosting because of the lack of a uh, car. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm hoping for some sixes, obviously. I'm going to roll the, the road dice with Obviously. <laughs> Okay, okay so pretty much like my last roll. I have a one, three, four, and five, but this time the road die is just one. One. One space forward. Okay. All right, starting with you, where are you going to go? All right. So I feel like I should just keep pushing, right? With Probably, that car? Yeah. You know what? I am going to move my tank first because we are approaching the bunker, which is this third tile here, and okay. all of this this area over here, this is all impassable terrain. That's, so we are forced to go around. That's right. So I might as well kind of get a jump on a path, even though that means I will probably have to clear out these hazards. I mean, yeah, I do. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this five right. to the large, my largest uh, vehicle. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. It is the shortest distance. Sure. And, um, so you will not be using the road dice? I'm not going to use the road dice, no. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. All right, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I could just, well, it's the same me. thing. They're both hazards. Good luck to me. All right. Oh. Yes. It, I'm going to leave it there yeah. because it turns it into a, a standard a road path. space. I guess you cleared the way for me. I guess it doesn't really matter, though, because you would still have to pass this type That's of right. train. So. Yep. I, my chopper might want to go and gun that thing down. Oh, I know. That would be inoperable. I think I'm going to do it. So oh. I am going to... Uh, Put the airstrike there. I feel like they don't have a six. Uh oh. New. No. <laughs> so which car do I want to now send out? All right, let's go. Ooh, I am having regrets. <laughs> I will send out the medium car as a three. Okay. I'm seeing some other options here. So uh, the chopper is going to go. Do, 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 do. Boom! Right nice, there. Nice, like the All visual. Right. Yes. And now, <laughs> oh, come on, roll large. Okay. We've been seeing medium. a lot of large. Any. Any. Darn. Bang. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. a dent. A dent. <laughs> so this is nothing, but the car is inoperable. Shoot. So that's, that's actually good because that could have been really bad had I gotten like a blast off yeah. or something and gone off the board. So your car goes faces yeah. backwards. I that face... way you don't accidentally uh, use it. Right. Good reminder. Okay. So we're we're having, there's some action going I on. Wanted, I really wanted a blast off where you just got blasted off by yeah. a Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I do want to mention that in higher player counts, it is still the same width of tile. Yes. So you, you will be seeing a lot more of this uh, chaos. action yeah. Yeah, and chaos, but mm -hmm. I'm surprised at how much is happening right now. All right, so now I'm going to do my real move or my car move. So it's going to go one, two, three, and okay. I'm going to use that road dice. Boom. You're going to, okay. I got a medium on top of a small. This is good. So had you, had you not used the road die, you would have stayed there and you could have shot at my car. It's, it's either, do you want to shoot at the car? Uh, shoot, or do you so want... You, so it's a small car, and the small is the least likely to get rolled. That is true. So I'm going for it. I, okay. I got to get this car off the road. So you're road. basically choosing to crash so that I could potentially be eliminated. Correct. And then because okay. I have the, the medium to your small, I can re-roll if I really don't like the outcome. Yep, that is a good yeah. good strategy. I got to go for it, so okay. what else am I going to do, right? All right, come please, on. Please. Off the edge of the board. Oh. We do have a success. The... Okay, this is bottom car, which is me, and this die shows this way, <laughs> which is the no-no zone, and that means my car is now eliminated right. as well. I think we need to stick to the center of the board. <laughs> oh, no. This Good. This is my small car? Yep, upside down. <sighs> Awful. Yeah, we're just representing your cars completely. No. <laughs> so now you'll be boosting in the future. You'll be boosting this round. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the... 
Huh. My goal is now going from <laughs> try to get to the end to, kill to try to get yeah, Naveen's yeah. cars out. Although I guess you can try to do both. You, you can do, do both. both. Yeah, you time. just got to push. All right. So back to me. I guess that, that, that does also remove the stress of rolling the six. That was stressing me out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You want to use your six to advance as far as you don't want to have to use it on repairs. Right. So this, this car you've moved already. I have moved it already. Because I want to do an airstrike as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. I'm going to assign the one sure. to the airstrike. And I'm going to move my chopper uh, over here. Sure. Good. And I also have to assign my other, my other die now. Well, clearly, I'm just going to assign the larger die um, to that car. All right. So let's try to shoot Naveen's car. All so right. this, this is, is a, a medium. This is a medium, yeah. Yes, because that one's your small, right? small, yep. All right. So uh, we need any. No. Large. Evaded. Safe. It says large. Oh, <laughs> uh, it is the most likely to roll. Yeah. Ah, that's disappointing. Okay. Well, that's that was great. a nice, nice try. You can't hit them all, right? No. So now we're going to move. <laughs> so I'm just going to go this way. I yeah. really don't want to have to deal with these hazards. I've already lost one car. Yeah. I'm going to go one, two, because it's mud. Three, four. I cannot use the road die because we're not on the road. And that is it. It is back to you for your, your final turn. Oh, All no, right. you have two more. I have two more. So let's go ahead and uh, I have to assign it to, well, I can assign it to any one of these. The one extra move to this one right here. Yeah, uh -huh. so I'm, I'm assuming you have to take the boost last because the rules specifically say if you're out of That's right, cars. that's right. You're right. You are very right. So I will do this to the small. It has to be to the small. Okay. That's five. Okay. Uh, I'd like to potentially shoot that one right there. Let's see, how do I do this? Let's see. One, <laughs> two, three. Four, five, no. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Lined up to shoot, and I'm in the dead center. Let's do it. Yep. One, two, three, four, because of mud, five. And okay. let's go ahead and fire away. Was that that's your medium that's car? That's my medium car. My small is out All of right. commission. Ugh, medium. Please. Be good to me. Medium. Oh my direct gosh. medium. That is a direct hit. It doesn't do anything special just because it specifically says medium, nope. but because there is also a die face that says any, That's right. but I do take a damage. So let's see what, what we get. Good thing I'm kind of far away from the edge yeah. though. All right, oh, this is shrapnel. Yeah. So this is the one that we saw earlier mm -hmm. where I have to roll the direction die and basically try to hit a car. I hope you don't hit me. <laughs> I hope so. You know what? I hope so. What's the result of it? Oh, I, I take an automatic damage if you roll back. You take an automatic damage. Okay, so I have a one in six shot of taking an automatic damage. I do not need this. Let's see. Okay. Okay, it is this way. So I just come to the edge here. Yeah. So it's basically just going to go all the way here until wow. you hit a car, technically, or the edge of the tile. All right, it's back to me for my final turn, and I don't have a choice here because um, <laughs> obviously this one's out. I have to boost, and so it has to be this car because yeah. this is an inoperable car. That's I right. cannot boost that. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here and only moves one space. And that's it. <laughs> if there were a, a car here, I would be allowed to shoot. That's right. Well, I like what I see here because I'm going to boost this car. Okay. Uh, because I have no uh, cars that don't have dice that oh, are have to shoot operable. Me again. Yes. So I'm going to use this to represent my boost for the small. And we're going to move up. And we're gonna try to shoot you. Oh my gosh. It's a small, the small has a, I think a one in six chance of getting hit. But if I get a hit, I will lose. Yes. That'll be the end of the game. <laughs> I'm going for it. So there's a one in six because, chance of me winning. Because all of my cards would be inoperable. Yes. And Naveen is the only person in the game. <laughs> With operable so cards. So he would be the winner. I that gotta go be, for it. Don't, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. All right, one in six chance. Oh my gosh. Large, Large. yes survival of the fittest wow i had very low hopes <laughs> one in six chance you had low hopes well we've been rolling this way I think the entire a, game so that's far true. Yeah. everybody look at how many how much damage everybody has all right you know, it's, a, it's actually uh it's actually a one in three chance there's, oh. a, there's a medium small and an any so, there you go uh, wow yeah so, that, that would have been yeah that would have made me real nervous that's fantastic we continue the game uh there's still a chance i want to try to roll a six really i want to try to make this car back to you want to that operable. to just get all the way to the end oh yeah okay and that's the end of the round so i believe i was the one who rolled the the road dice yeah, yeah. so now you're gonna go first yes and i'm going to re-roll my dice first i'm really hoping for a six no six Come i on, would please. really love to repair that damage <laughs> yes i can't wow. do it twice however but it's nice because I can at least move six. You can repair it and then well. just use it to move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like right away. That's that's exactly what's happening. All right. And uh Good luck. Okay, we got a two row dice. Nice. I like All that. Right. So no sixes for you, unfortunately. But again, I don't think that's uh, an issue for you, right? 
I mean, you don't have any it's, damage. It's just nice to have sixes. That's true, yeah. just in case, right? You know, this car is a little trapped here, and uh, they're the same size, and I think I want to create a little collision here. You can do a drift. I probably should. <laughs> because if you do, if we're the same my, size, nobody's allowed to re-roll that. My, my problem with the drift is uh, I know you're going to repair that that big car. No secret here. Mm -hmm. I kind of like my uh, chopper to be able to do something to it. And if I drift, I don't have the opportunity to use a chopper. And you so, have a 6-6. Six, six, so. I will say that you are taking a big risk because you might get eliminated yourself. Because nobody might. will be able to re-roll this. It's just whatever you roll is what's happening. Um, you can go this way. I, I don't want to deal with that hazard. I mean, you want to just try to eliminate that car right here, right now? <laughs> I would win, right? You would have no operable cars. Oh, no. Well, yeah, you would have no operable cars. Yeah, no. that's true. So I'm going to go for it. I mean, I have to go for it. Yeah. I want to go for wins. That is so. the most strategic play, yes. I think. So I'm just going to use my I two like on my small. Okay. And I'm going to force a smash, ending my movement here. Yep. And here we go. We're going to roll the dice. So, All right. Uh, we so... This this die and this die. So I want to see I want to see the lower car yep. and anything down here. So I don't know. We'll see. Good luck. Come on, please. Top, the top car. car. <laughs> it's you. I get spr uh, sprung off. Okay, so then top car, boom, up here. So it's kind of like nice. the, like one or two o'clock on, on a watch. That was a. I'll take it. Yeah, that was not bad because it's still pushing. It's forward. like using my drift. Yeah. Without drifting. Without drifting. That's great. Yeah. With still the, the, the fear, the yeah. fear of, of elimination. Yeah. Dang. Perfect. Okay. So <laughs> now it goes to me. I'm going to try to run Is it six, six as time? far as I can. Yeah. So I'm going to repair with my six because it needs specifically a six. Sure. And you can only remove one damage token. So I'm just going to remove it. doesn't matter which one. Yeah, it doesn't so matter. I'm just going to remove okay. that. And now my tank is on again. the move. We're going to um, assign the six. So. Let's see. I think there's only one way. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's just exact. Yep. Okay, so we don't actually um, see the next tile. see the next tile yet until I step off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and right. that can be important if there are some people still kind of lagging in yes, the back. Yes, that's right. Uh, that would be the difference for them between staying alive and not. Yeah. So, so if, if Monique had enough movement points to get off that board, and mm -hmm. there was any cars remaining here, it's like they fall off the edge of the earth. They're right. out of the game. They're out. Okay, I only have one car that's operable right now, so I'm just going to assign my biggest dice to it, and I'm going to move five. Um, okay. That is going to be my medium. You know what? I accidentally, uh, I did this wrong. Uh, this, that is my medium car right there. Oh, and this, this is the one that you moved, right? Yeah, this should be here. So okay. It's a small one that's going to be this one, yeah. Okay. So it's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You know what, with that move, I was supposed to assign the chopper because I would have no more operable cars, so I wouldn't be able to use the chopper. Right. That movement pattern was always going to be that movement pattern. Yeah, it so doesn't affect anything. It doesn't and, affect anything. Uh, when you do a boost, you can't use it with in conjunction with a command. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, yes. you would so, have to do it now. Yes, basically. and I would always go that path to that mud spot right there. Yeah, so, no problem. Uh, yes, the chopper is uh, coming out, and we okay. are going to try to stop. Oh, no. Here we go. I don't like that thing. I want you to spend your sixes to try to fix it every time. Because huh. if you're fixing it, you're not using your chopper. That's right. Yes. Clever. Large! Large. <laughs> Turn it around. Okay. The dice hate me. Just want to say that first. But yeah. um, Come on. Let's Something see what that we gets got. you off the road. Skid. Skid? <gasps> oh, no way. Oh, that's awesome. I think it just pushes me um, It does. It pushes forward. you one space forward. One it space, makes you... which means we're going we're gonna to pull the new tile. We are, yeah. Even though... Even though my car is inoperable, it's still going to get pushed forward. That's right, yeah. And not all skid hazard tiles are just forward. It just shows a specific direction. So this for this tile, be, yeah. yeah, it's just one space forward. So um, my tank is going to go off the tile, and we are now going to move the tile. The conveyor belt style. The conveyor belt, exactly. So basically, this tile is going to go. We're going to shift these back, and we're going to add a new tile to the front that my tank is going to start on. Yep. All right, and now we have the choke. The choke. Ooh, this is a nasty tile because yeah. <laughs> this is impassable terrain, and so it forces you to just drive down this way yes. with all these spaces for hazards. <laughs> Help me out if you don't mind. Yeah, there Maybe you go. One more. One more. All right, and now we are all set up. Mm -hmm. Not so, all. Yeah, you got to put your car. Yes. So my car is going to go on this spot right here, since that's technically forward, yep. but it is inoperable. <laughs> so, I like it next to the choke right there. I want to shoot yeah. it forward with another skid. Yep, that is a danger of this space right here. I am right next to some impassable terrain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that wraps up my turn, and I think you have a couple dice. All right, use? yes, so it is back to me. I have two dice left with only one uh, operable car. You're so medium here. I might as well try to go as far as I can. So yep. that's my three. 
And I'm gonna go one, two, three, plus the road die. Oh, which one is going straight? My car? One, oh. two. <laughs> Definitely yes. going straight. Okay, very good. Okay, so back to you for your final die. Uh, yeah, final one. Let's see. Oh, gosh, I wish I could have just gotten like eked right there, you know? <laughs> I need a little bit more space. Okay, I don't like what's happening to this car here. Um, let's go ahead and let's get let's get that thing moving because okay. I, I fear it falling off the edge of the board. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's just going to be one. One. <laughs> Even though I stayed on the road, I do not get the benefit of this dice once again. So now it goes back to me for my final die. I have to boost, and I don't have a choice. I have to boost my medium size uh, car since my tank is inoperable. Mm -hmm. So that's just going to be a one movement. I'm going to go straight. Right. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. All right, All right, that is the end of that round. We are, we're looking okay. Yeah, I need to make this car inoperable and then and then I'll feel really good. <laughs> we're, we're kind of like 50-50. Like, are we going to make it to the end? Maybe, maybe. This we'll might see. be an elimination game. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. So now I'm going to go first for the next round and would you care to roll your dice? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Come on, four sixes. <laughs> Doesn't matter, really. Yeah, five, three, three, one. Okay, okay. okay. that's fine. All right. Now I do want to roll sixes mm -hmm. because I do have uh, some damage, right? right? I yes. really want that tank to be operable again. Oh! No <gasps> sixes! Oh no. Perfect. This is bad. Mm. This is so bad That's because I'm basically nice. operating with one car. And I go first. And no way. <sighs> be safe! <laughs> I believe in you, tank. Gosh, I already have one damage on this. You do. You're going to try to hit me with your chopper. I am. I'm in such a bad position because even if I use the four on yeah. that car plus two to do the uh, the nitro to yeah. increase it to a six, because uh -huh. you can't you can't increase it more than six. Beyond six, yeah. I would land myself in the helicopter spot. It should be auto death. auto eliminated. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Well, I have to I have to to do the airstrike then. So oh yeah, for sure. I'll do the airstrike and I'll I'll place the four um, on my vehicle there. And you know this is tricky because if I if I uh, want to move my car four spaces, mm -hmm. I'm going to be required to boost it twice, which would mean a total of six spaces eventually. So it would be one, <laughs> two, three, four, and then I would have to boost into the chopper. All you have to do is leave it there. Oh, that's true. So I have to. I'm forced to go in a different direction. So let's do the airstrike first. I'm going to move my okay. chopper and let's try to hit um, this car, the medium, medium one, mm -hmm. I guess. Let's see the medium one. All right, push me forward or avoid me. <laughs> Large! Large. So you nice. have evaded my attack. Survival. The chopper was useless. So now so, where are you going to move with that four? I'm going to move this way. I have to face the wrath of that hazard. Uh, so yeah. one, two, three. Oh my gosh, this could be the end, actually. Slick. Oh, oh my gosh, this could be the end. This could be the end. So I have to, I have to roll the die. I rolled the direction die and I would move yes. one space in that direction. So that could throw me <laughs> into this spot it here. It could, yeah. It could throw you into, it's it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> it's these direct ones right around you. And I'm supposed to continue moving, by the way. So that was one, two, three. I would have one more movement after that if that was still If you safe. survived it. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Let's find Self out. Self-destruction. <gasps> Self-destruction. Oh! That's it. That's okay. the end. So Monique's uh, has pointed in this direction. She goes. Oh Whoa. no! And then. How thematic. Bam. That oil it did me dirty. You just said I'm gonna go for it. You wow. I. Amazing. I had to. I had to. I had to go that way. You know what you could have done? Hmm. You could have, if you really wanted to avoid it, and and you could have. I mean, obviously you rolled bad here, but you could have went one, two, three, four, and then boost, boost. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think to do that, honestly. <laughs> well, I think you just got lucky with some of your other uh, hazard tiles. and just Yeah, I, 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 for, for some it. reason, I, I let my guard down uh, with the hazard tile. I got a little <laughs> yeah, bit nonchalant. Like, I, I was yeah. like, hey, I got some road tiles just a, a few moves ago. Yeah, you took them all out of circulation. So <laughs> that's it. I had high nice. hopes. I made it to the fourth tile. You did, yeah. I was going to so get to You the... went in terms of that. Yeah, but <laughs> nice. I lose. And the reason why is because two of my cars have been eliminated. That second car got shoved into this impassable terrain, yes. which is basically the equivalent of me smashing into the side into of the a, mountain. It's a dark hole or something. So this is gone. And this car is inoperable, which leaves Naveen as the only player who has operable cars. I didn't even um, have to use my dice this time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. You deserved it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. That is Thunder Road Vendetta. This game is currently on Kickstarter, so if you are interested in it, there is a link in the description down below. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. The Kickstarter will include a lot of information yes. in addition to uh, some Kickstarter extras, including the opportunity to add on the two mini expansions mm -hmm. that are going to be a part of the campaign. So what I, one of them, I believe, is called the Chop Shop. Uh, yes. Um, that has some extra abilities, yep. as well as another mini expansion. That's all detailed on the campaign. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye.